no meeting has to be more than an hour, in my opinion. And I'll argue that all day. I just don't think it needs to be. You should look and go, am I really providing significance? Or am I, is this meeting valuable? And if it's not, don't apologize. Just get up and go. Yo, you ready? It's a non-stop packed day. My schedule's just out of control, so no real room for error. And we'll see how it goes. The whole theme of this is urgency. Boom, 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 boom. You can't control the outcome, you can only control the tactics. We can all do more if we just audit our day and we find little gaps to, to be more effective. You know, it's really important for both myself and the entire product team to be aligned. The goal is that every time you're putting something into a sprint, you're saying, how am I actually reflecting this to where we're going? You know, just to talk about high-level strategy, high-level goals. We want to innovate for you. This is our vision. This is what we want to provide for you. Buck sent the agenda and the questions prior. I read them before I came. I was prepped. We got through an hour and it was like, boom, boom, done. Everything's pumpkin spice. Right now, everything. There's pumpkin spice greenies. It's gone too far. I think it's just a lot of noise. We win by staying focused on the customer. We win on executing on the strategy and the vision. That's it. Financials go out to Fidelity, obviously, on a monthly basis. We have a really aggressive Q4, and so what we have to do is really look at our spending, look at other opportunities that we can do for top-line revenue. Met with Christine quite a bit today. We're working on an email to uh, Fidelity, working on an email to the company, just working on some things on how we better communicate. Uh, it's that time for merit increases, so we had that me meeting with Koji on merit increases, what's our philosophy, how we roll them out. And then throughout the day, we had a lot of different 12-week um, year presentations. What they really do is recap the last 12 weeks, recap the next 12 weeks, what worked, what didn't. It's great for us because we're able to kind of make sure that their tactics are in line. They, we can look at their execution score and their what we call now, I guess, hustle metric score. You know those old engines that take a while to warm up? I'm like the Tesla. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's hard to get me going. You like the Tesla? You're like the old school. So you're, a fucking, you're on back order? Station wagon. I got the heat now. You about that Elon Musk? Yeah. Did, you, did you see that, uh, the rocket. rocket? He asked me if I saw the <laughs> rocket. I was on it. Please. <laughs> I can do these little audits, you know, and these little check-ins, squeezing that lemon, that orange, every ounce out, and going home and going, I put everything on the table today. I crushed it. You get to come in tomorrow knowing that it was a great day. At the end of the week, you get to you know celebrate and go, hey, you know, I worked three days this week, five days this week, whatever it was, and I and I crushed it. And so we're going to Vermont to do this really big hike with um, the seal and Jesse, living with the seal for 31 days. It's about being comfortable in the uncomfortable. Um, how to push yourself beyond limits. And so we're going to do this hike, we're climbing the equivalent to Mount Everest, and I haven't been training. <laughs> so that's why I'm pushing my trainer to, to kick my butt right now, because I can use all the help I can get. Uh, they say it'll be more of a physical challenge, I think it'll be mentally hard for me, just because I, I usually want to sprint to get things done, and this is something that you just don't sprint. DJ and I will do this hike with them, um, and then what we'll do is after, they have some uh, strategy, business, motivational speech, um, and, and talks that we'll do with some, some great leaders and influential leaders in the, in the, in the, in the states, there in the United States. So, um, you know, that's why today is such a packed day, so. Ty, when Ty first called me, this is the conversation we had when he wanted to train. Calls me up and he says, hey, I hear you're a pretty good trainer. You know, um, I'm difficult to train, I don't sweat, you're not gonna get anything out of me. It's very hard to push me. Um, and this is before, obviously, I've had a chance to talk because Ty dominates conversation. So my next statement to Ty was, why don't you meet me here at 11 o'clock? As I said, it's hard to train <laughs> me. I don't sweat, yeah. I'm barely sweating. Tyler, as much shit as I give him is probably one of my hardest working clients. So I gotta yeah, give him I that. I gotta give him that. I believe in a philosophy of winning the day. You chip away and you chip away. And what happens if you win enough days, you win the week. And you win enough weeks, you win the month. And if you win enough months, you win that year. This is my favorite right here. When he be mad like this, I love it. Hey, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Shit. Woo! Every single day matters on winning the day.